Steve the Mac Guy here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop to transfer files between your Mac and iOS devices. AirDrop has been included in Mac OS X since version 10.7, also known as Lion. It's a great feature that a lot of people don't know about, but it's really handy for transferring files between two Macs, and you can even use it to quickly transfer files between your Mac and your iPhone or iPad. To access AirDrop from your iPhone or iPad, just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and you should see an AirDrop button. When you click it, you'll have the options to turn AirDrop off, turn it on only for people that are in your contacts list, or to turn it on for everyone. It's so easy to turn on that I usually just leave it off until I need it. To access AirDrop on a Mac, just open up a Finder window and you should see AirDrop in the sidebar. If not, just go to Preferences in the Finder menu and on the sidebar tab make sure you have AirDrop checked. Now when you click AirDrop in the sidebar, you should see any Macs or iOS devices nearby that are available for AirDrop. For this demonstration, I'm going to send a picture of my motorcycle to my wife's iPad. Isn't she pretty? My wife's cute too. So all you have to do is drag and drop the image onto the contact in the AirDrop window. Now on the iPad, an alert will pop up telling you who the file is from with a preview and the options to decline or accept. If you click accept, the image will be added to your iPad's photo library. Now I'll do it again, but this time I'll decline on the iPad. And you'll see that you get a pop-up telling you that the other person declined your request. Now I'll transfer a file from the iPad back to the Mac. It's a little bit different. My wife's iPad is full of pictures of these two guys. When you find the image you want to send, click this icon at the top, and under the image you'll see any AirDrop capable devices nearby. Just tap the one you want to send to, and on the Mac, you'll get a notification similar to the one on the iPad with a preview and the options to decline or accept. Click accept and the image goes to your downloads folder. Aren't they cute? Hopefully you'll find AirDrop as useful as I do. I use it all the time. It's really convenient to be able to quickly transfer files to and from my iPhone or iPad without having to sync them. It's also nice being able to send files between two Macs without having to set up file sharing and figure out the name of the other computer I want to send to. All you have to do is make sure both Macs are on the AirDrop screen and then drag and drop. File sharing has never been easier. There are some limitations on the types of files you can send to and from the iPhone or iPad, but on the Mac you can send anything. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please take a second to like and share it with others. And if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. If you have questions or if there's anything you'd like to learn about your Mac or iOS devices, feel free to leave a comment.